What's up guys, Chris from Flip the World. Don't ever go behind the counter at Shipley's and pretend you're a, a starving calf and try to breastfeed on the cherry filling. They will call the cops. Let's get to Goodwill and make a reseller box. Morning, sir. Hey. What up? All right, yo, let's get to work. It's gonna be one of those days where we're gonna be digging. Supposed to be, yep, it's supposed to be shorts. Alright, first item found in the first bin we went to. It's gonna be a good day. I mean Stacy's here, so of course it's gonna be a good day. I'm sure she's already got six five hundred dollar items in her bag. Well that's single stitch. Enjoying paradise one more time. Returning guest, 1998 Jamaica. It's really like a like a grail, but with a single stitch in Jamaica. We'll grab it. 1988. Oh my God! I've been looking for these my whole life. You don't think I could fit into these? What if we make that the thumbnail? Me trying to squeeze into that? No, that's not. That's not fair for anybody. Well, that's another single stitch. That oh, one's all, as the kids call it, distressed. Lucky brand. Work. On this crafting we cried to the top master. Overalls. Nice American Red Cross pass. It's definitely that vintage dead stock. Probably not worth the time, but we're gonna look it up just because it's you new know, tags dead stock. Y'all see that? It says Cutco. It's not like the the mega one, but this will still sell. That's an easy one. Got this Columbia. PFG with the Astros hit. That'll be a local sale for sure. Hopefully I can still see the size. Nice. Come on, cool. It's Adidas. Play one more time. Oh, there we go. That's light on. Oh, of course. <laughs> Rode hard and put up. Destroyed. Excuse me? Yeah, check them out. Thank you so much. Oh, perfect. So, I'll make a cut and take them. So, I picked up this pig because it goes. Home. And it just reminded me of my little piggy, Riley. But it's funny that it's actually one of those folk manis puppets, if you don't know about <clears throat> folk manis. You stick your hands in and actually have a... <laughs> Check out what it sold for last. I'm still probably not going to get it, but I at least want to go make pig noises again. Not really into boots lately. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is the house both legs. That'll be a starting point here, folks. Weird kind of bottom. 32. Are these men's? Hmm. Men 
some skin. Men's awkward. 1999. Pretty sure red is Darth Vader. See, I'm learning. I've never seen them, but I'm learning. Red is bad, apparently. Oh, thank God, Stacy has a cart. Oh. And apparently everything over there underneath that is also hers. Oh. Well, right off the bat, she's got this Main USA 3rd Street College of William and Mary. These aren't rag lines, these are called something. That's nice. Oh. Well, that's our first official pair of cool legendary pants. So right off the bat, her cart's already better than mine. But I think we all knew that going into this. Again, I'm just not really a boot cut person and that knee hole is really, really big. What I started doing was looking up what the top selling styles are for jeans. It's women's and men's category. Obviously skinny is a huge one. Let's see North Face. Just a nice little long sleeve. Ah, it's got some bleach stains on it. Oh crap, she found four of the collectible Selena cups. They usually sell these once a year at 7-Eleven or Stripes. It's a gas station. People usually collect these. Anything for Salinas. Let's make that five. She just brought me another one. Bidi bidi bum bum. A chico en apartamento cinco doce. Peter Millar cashmere. It's nice. I don't know how to wash cashmere, but we're going to get cashmere. Next up, we got this Presario. Presilla. Presilla. It's made in Uruguay. It's like a 1980s, like almost acid wash denim it's got shoulder pad, so it's a women's. Looks like a crop top or a shorter. But surprisingly, these sell for in the $30 to $40 range, so we're gonna grab that for the box. Let's see here. St. Evans, that's vintage tag. <laughs> no freaking way. That's a Pope John Paul II wrap tee. And it's single stitch. No freaking way. All right, Stacy. Wow. I'm just holding it up. I don't even know what to say. Let's look that up. Okay, so of course there's nothing on eBay for that. So then you just go to trusty Google. I just put in vintage Pope John Paul II wrap t-shirt. And then go to images and you just scroll until you find it. There's one right there. On Grailed. That's a good chance. That's a good sign when you see it on Grailed. Let's see. Yep, that's the same shirt. Oh, that one has holes in it. Lots of holes. St. Evans tag. That's what we want. Can y'all see that? $185. It's not sold. That's what they're asking. That. Oh, and it's a size medium. What size do we have? 2X. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm going to say first $100 find of the day. So this vintage Top Masters Main USA American Red Cross jumpsuit, I'm going to say it's like a women's size. Big back head. Obviously, known on eBay. That's the thing with vintage is you're not probably going to find a lot unless it's like a really popular, like Chicago Bulls, you're going to find a ton of vintage. But like something like American Red Cross or a freaking Pope wrap tee. You're going to have to go to Google or outside and check other sites. So here it is on this website called Pick Click, which pops up a lot because it's just like a, a site that shows where you can find stuff anywhere. But this one, vintage, is the same one. If you look at the pictures, it's the same one. Obviously, I'm going to put it up on the screen. But it sold for $89.95. So we're getting that. And maybe 
Maybe I'll put it in the reseller box. I don't know. Oh, look at that. $19.99. $19.99. I found the dark side. Stacy found the light side. Is that what it's called? Dark and light, good and bad. Either way, it kind of makes sense because Stacy, you know, she's an angel. And me, I'm the devil. So, yeah, it looks like the Qui Gon Jin. I don't know who that is. Anyway. The green one sells for about $25, and the red one sells for around $20. I guess people don't like the dark side. This is another sick vintage find from Stacy. I don't know if you can see it because it's really faded, but it says the Kraken. And the cool part about it to me is it's on the Hammer t-shirt. Made in the USA. That is almost a guaranteed that she's gonna keep that, which is fine because that is an awesome shirt. The Kraken Rum. It's got a nice acid wash to it. There's not on eBay, but they're on Posh and Mercari for about $18 to $25. And my Cutco 5 block, which is funny because this used to be the one that they would send us out into the field with with the uh, with the sample knives to do our demo. Uh, I used to sell cut cord door to door. Actually a very awesome company. They pay really well. And uh, it really helped me with my learning how to interact with people and learning how to have confidence in talking and selling a product. So shout out Cutco. But this sells for about 30 bucks. So keep her. Nice little live from New York. It's Saturday Night Live. This is a 2X. It's official from Universal Tag 2012. So what you do with this, and what I always try to tell people, is you just get it, you put it in a tub, and you wait for it to become vintage. Or you can list it now, but a lot of shirts that are like 2004 through 2006, what I've been doing, and obviously it was earlier as I've been reselling, but I always pick them up and then I just put them in tubs and then eventually, every new year, you get a new vintage tub full of stuff. A little vintage vines pullover, that's sick. So yeah, everybody, if you're finding 2003 and 2004 band shirts and sports stuff, just remember, next year that's vintage. A single stitch. University of Hawaii shirt. Colle Collegiate Pacific. It's nice. Vintage. Uh, tags torn, so I can't see the size. I'm going to go with the medium, but measurements will be able to figure that out. But that is awesome. So, yeah, I guess she's just finding all the vintage today. All right. Now, this is pretty sick again. Abercrombie and Fitch, right? Not really that impressive of a company this, these days. This is made in the USA, so this is definitely a vintage Abercrombie, like nautical jacket, and it is super clean, super clean. This is gonna take some time to do some research, but this is definitely gonna be worth. I mean, I just was looking up vintage men's Abercrombie jackets made in the USA and they were 75 plus so this is another stick 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 Stacy find got some nice diesel jeans these are the Larky relaxed diesel's a good brand well this would have been awesome whenever I'm about to do something I think would an idiot do that and if they would I do not do that thing official office I literally just grabbed this. You can't tell because it doesn't have a tag on it until you turn it over on the back and I just happened to catch right there. Real tree, single stitch. So vintage real tree, real tree, single stitch pocket tee. And this actually sells for like 20 to 25 bucks. So a lot of vintage today. 
So real quick, we're gonna go through this little small pile of heat that Stacy just brought me. So we got Michael Core jeans, we've got some Torrid jeans, some Miss Me, American Eagle. These are another pair of diesel, these are black. And then a freaking car hard vest, fleece line. So yeah, safe to say that today is a killer day at Zebin's in beautiful, well, it's raining right now, Houston, Tejas. Stacy found a creepy, I'm asleep, I'm awake, I'm asleep, I'm awake. Vintage doll, sells for like 60 bucks. All right, I'm not completely useless. I found a brand new with tags, Lululemon long sleeve. Got this interchangeable men's Columbia. I guess you can swap out the liner. This is a fleece liner. Just another one of those massive, not needed in Texas jackets. But they fit ever so nicely in our world famous reseller boxes. Started raining. But it's still Houston, Texas, so it doesn't matter. It's got a nice full cart. Let's get it loaded and go freaking eat. All right, we are back at the sausage factory where everything gets made. Blech. Let's show you what we got today. We're gonna start off with the reseller box first. 29 items going into this box today. Probably the first time we've had less jeans than other items, but still, this is a banger box. Got some American Eagle, got some Levi's, some Cut. Those are more Levi's, more Levi's. Then we move on to the, I separate the jeans from the pants, shorts section. New Balance shorts. These are a brand called Ascend that actually have pretty good comps. They're hiking pants. Some Vineyard Vine shorts. Got some Polo Jean Company shorts. Some Greg Norman golf pants. This is some new with tags. I want to say these are vintage lee performance khakis they come with a belt uh some ll bean women's hiking pants and then some nike embroidered swoosh joggers over in the tops department we've got a vintage tommy hit this is that vintage college of william and mary on that third street made in usa tag i'm throwing in like i said the new dead stock american red cross top master i think you can get 60 to $70 for this bad boy. I've got that Peter Millar cashmere, meow. A polo quarter zip. This is an XL, awesome green olive colorway. Under Armour, so I think this is cold gear, compression cold gear. Nice little XL long sleeve. This is a new brand. It's called True Grit Dry Goods out of LA, new with tags. And uh, this is a men's quarter zip top new with tags you should be able to get about 40 to 50 bucks and then just a nice classic fit ralph lauren plaid long sleeve and then we go into the jacket department we've got i want to say like four different types of columbia fleece from full zip pullover quarter zip you've got that vintage um perezia made in uruguay I told y'all I was gonna throw in that vintage Abercrombie and Fitch sailing jacket. That's in there. This is a champion sweatshirt with fleece. This is a Converse hoodie, another Columbia. This is a women's. And then that giant double insulated Columbia ski jacket. Right there, I wanna say it's 30 items. Again, I always throw stuff in, but this haul depending on how you personally price the vintage shirts and that red cross i think you should have no problem getting 750 to 800 dollars for everything once it sells and that's kind of the goal if you've been keeping up with the theme of our boxes is you're going to potentially two and a half to three times your profit and you didn't have to source any of it 
you literally just pay and it's shipped right to your door. All you have to do is take photographs and list. We've done the hard stuff so you can do the easy stuff. I mean, I dare you to find someone else that is doing it for you. Who but Flip the World's gonna go out there and source items for you to sell that we could just list ourselves? That, my friends, is that real, real deep reseller love. It's like way down, it's, it's like way down, right here in my third stomach. That's how deep the reseller love is. Now let me show you the stuff we're keeping. You know we gotta keep that Pope wrap tee. Underneath that's that fleece Carhartt vest. Love me some lightsabers, especially when it's vintage. I was about to say his and her. Good side, bad side, dark, light. Selena cups are personal. We have some vintage shirts and the uh, vintage champion. And I think that pair are cool because never found those before. Keeping the Dwight sign, that's personal. Behind that, it's being held up by that Cutco chopping block. I still have those five knives, so I might just put them in the block. But if I could get 40 bucks for it, I will. That double-sided creepy doll that's what i call it it's a creepy doll and then of course jeans our jeans are going to be always going to be lucky torrid lots of levi's and as you can tell i don't know if you can see mostly men's i didn't really do an estimate on what we could potentially make because i'm only concerned about what you could potentially make <sighs> did i spread it on a little too thick this video sorry anyway really excited about this reseller box i think whoever gets it is going to be really excited as well and I never really know how to end videos, so I thought maybe we'd have our friend Susie go ahead and do the outro. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have a good time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That was so good. I love you. Ah, uh, don't get all that. Go to sleep. Ah, much better. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>